Hey, I'm Paulie with JMP Cycles. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install mirrors on your motorcycle. I'm going to be using these heavy industry mirrors from Kuryakin on a 2017 Street Glide. Follow along, I'll show you how it's done. All right, before I put the new mirrors on, I'm going to take the stock mirrors off. To do that, I've got to take off the fairing. So we'll start by removing the three fasteners that hold on the windshield. Now I'll just pull back a little bit and I can slide my windshield out. Now I'll move to the inside of the fairing and remove the following rest of the fasteners. Make note of the length of the bolts as you remove them so you don't get confused putting it back together. The only tool I'm used so far is a Torx T27. Uh, I'm using it on a T-handle. You can use one on a ratchet or if you just have a Torx screwdriver, that'll work as well. With the fasteners removed, you can slide off the bat wing. When you pull it off, you're going to have to undo your headlight. You have plugs right here. Now with a 9 16th socket, you can remove the factory mirror. If you look on the back side, you'll see this little piece here. Don't drop that. You can do the same for the other side. Well, that leaves a rather unsightly hole. Well, knowing that hole's going to be there if you take off the mirror, Kuryakin made these interfering covers. So we're going to put these on before we go and put the new mirrors on. If you look at the back side, you'll see it's pretty much peel and stick. Hold it up, it's gonna fit right there in the corner. Before we apply this though, I wanna clean it. So they provide you with an alcohol pad. Press those nice and firm and you've got a nice cover. Completely covers up those holes, gives you a nice little accent. Do the same for the other side. Now we'll just put the fairing back on in the reverse order we took it off. I'm going to go ahead and put the top center screw in, just something to hold it in. You don't want to over tighten these because you're just screwing in, just holding the fairing on. Put the windshield back in place. After all that, we can actually do what we set out to do, and that's install mirrors on this bike. These mirrors come with hardware for several different bikes, so pick the one that you need for your bike. Mine will be the two shortest ones, and I have star washers on them, so I don't need any Loctite. Just put the bolt up through the bottom of the hole, thread into the mirror. You're not, you don't need to tighten it up quite yet. All right, so now I'm gonna sit on the bike, make sure I have the mirrors set so that I can actually see. So that looks good. Now I'll get off the bike and I will tighten up the other adjustments. So the tool we just used was a one quarter inch ball Allen. Next will be a 5.30 seconds Allen. One last place to adjust, just a 5 16 wrench. Make sure that's tight on both. Just wipe these things off, get all my prints off, and we have accomplished new mirrors on the bike. Changes the look up a little bit. Instead of having the mirror basically integrated with the fairing, you have them off the handlebars now. Puts them out a little bit further, so if you have broad shoulders, this is gonna help you with uh, having better visibility of other vehicles while riding. Well, this was a pretty simple project. The hardest part of it all was taking the fairing off and on, which wasn't difficult, just a little time consuming. If you have a bike with no fairing, then all you have to do is actually install the mirrors, which is pretty simple. I'm Paulie with JMP Cycles. Ride them, don't hide them. Ride it like you can fix it.